Hey, I, again, I'm never going to stop going for great. If I believe that I can do it, then I'm going to go. That's no secret. Noah Lyles is perhaps one of the most vocal, if not the most, about his goal of being at the top of his sport. Even then, he aims to keep going forward until the records he'd be breaking are his. After what could still be considered a successful season, Noah Lyles appears to be enjoying his time off the track, at least until he starts training again for the next season. Because yes, Lyles concluded one of the most successful seasons of his career in 2024, which included his first Olympic gold medal and first medal at the World Athletics Indoor Championships. As the 2024 track and field season came to an end, the American recounted his successes this season. Thank you 2024 season, he wrote in an ex post before adding his achievement. Olympic 100 champion, Olympic 200 meter bronze medalist, two-time world indoor silver medalist, two-time national champion, and American recorded 150 meter. Among all these, his 100 meter Olympic win could perhaps be the most remarkable. In addition to it being his first Olympic gold medal, he did so in a historic photo finish since he won the race by just five thousandths of a second. You may recall that this race had been controversial because of this. It appeared as if they all stepped over the line at the same time. Amazing, truly. Um, I think this is one of the very few races where everybody in the race went sub 10. See? Even Lyles marveled at how close he had been to losing the gold to someone else. It was, you know, 991 being last is freaking unheard of, uh, especially even at so close of a race. Noah Lyles has analyzed his 100 meter race at the Paris Olympic Games and explained how Oblique Seville played a huge role in his win. The triple world champion was glad to have Seville, the Jamaican sprint rising star since he was the only athlete who had beaten him twice this season, and he did not want a repeat of the same. Oblique Seville first beat Noah Lyles at the Racers Grand Prix before shocking the latter in the men's 100-meter semifinal at the Paris Olympic Games. Going into the final, Noah Lyles wanted to be close to Seville so that when the Jamaican youngster made a move, he would also react and go head-to-head -head with him. I knew if he made his move early in the race, that's when I'd need to make my move as well," Lyles admitted, before adding, I remember him making his move at around the 30M mark, and I was like, I need to go, I need to hammer. So, I'm hammering, I'm hammering, I clear Oblique Seville, and I'm still going. I see everyone else to my left, barely. He continued to outrun everyone until he crossed the line, although he could have added a Diamond League final win to his already remarkable list of achievements this year. He opted not to, choosing to let his body recover instead. You may remember that after marching to the men's 200 meter finals and finishing third with 19.70 seconds, it was revealed that he had tested positive for COVID-19. Because of this, he opted out of the men's four by 100 meter relay and concluded his campaign in the French capital. When fans kept looking for him in Brussels, Noah Lyles had to issue a clarification for his absence from the Diamond League series. The 100-meter Olympic champion revealed that he had decided to end his season post-COVID concerns after winning two medals at the Paris Olympics. When he arrived at the US Open to watch the women's singles final, he addressed the questions surrounding this. Running right now, no, 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 I ended my season. Okay. You know, we decided that uh, after the COVID situation that we were just gonna call it there. Okay. No, I didn't want to... Instead, he is enjoying his time off the track. To come out here and enjoy the gold medal tour, as I call it. As he admitted in a social media post, it wasn't how he hoped his 2024 Olympic journey would go, but he's happy about the experience nonetheless. It is not the Olympic I dreamed of, but it has left me with so much joy in my heart, Lyles wrote. Although he had to cut his season short, he's making the best of it. As seen on his Instagram, he's making the most out of his free time. He apparently went on a vacation with Jamaican girlfriend Junel Bromfield, who also competed in Paris. Then, he walked the ramp at New York Fashion Week. He, along with fellow gold medalists like Sunisa Lee and Jordan Chiles, look just as effortless as fashion icons as they do on the competitive stage. Lyles, known for his love of anime classics like Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece, 
was the perfect choice for this anime-inspired fashion debut. Strutting down the runway, Lyles rocked a green jacket and yellow cargo pants, each piece infused with nods to One Piece characters. The back of his jacket proudly displayed the slogan, Straw Man Crew, a tribute to Luffy and the One Piece universe. He shared snaps from the event on his Instagram with the caption, A Nerd's Dream Come to Life. Lyle also shared the ramp with his Olympian girlfriend, Juno Bromfield, in what was considered her fashion show debut. As the show wrapped up, the couple made a final appearance with Steve Aoki, American DJ and record producer, walking out to roaring applause as One Piece scenes lit up the LED screens behind them. Continuing his self-proclaimed gold medal tour, Lyles found time to unwind with Lewis Hamilton while watching the US Open women's final. In a clip posted by US Open, Lyles and Hamilton were shown chatting. The post was fittingly captioned, the fastest men in the world. Lyles's packed schedule also allowed him to attend the men's final, where he was spotted with tennis legend Stan Smith in the box. And then there's the rally celebration in his honor. A couple of days before September came to an end, the Olympic track star received what can be constituted as a hero's welcome. The 27-year-old was greeted by city and school leaders, as well as hundreds of cheering fans at his alma mater, Alexandria City High School. The city of Alexandria, in partnership with Alexandria City Public Schools, ACPS, and the Lyles Brothers Sports Foundation, helped to welcome Lyles back. The community was encouraged to take part and hundreds of fans piled into the gymnasium at ACHS. We are here to celebrate Alexandria excellence, City of Alexandria Mayor Justin Wilson said, presenting Lyles with a proclamation, We are so proud of what you have used your platform to do. Wilson recalled Lyles' exemplary performance during the Paris 2024 Olympics and said, Everyone remembers where they were that day in August when this man became the fastest man in the world. We all remember where we were because at the bottom of that screen when he came on the track, it said, Noah Lyles, Alexandria, Virginia. The mayor declared, you have a piece of pride for that incredible accomplishment and the fact that Noah Lyles represented our city better than anybody else in the world. Lyles, a 2016 ACHS graduate and ACHS Hall of Fame athlete, first sat atop a convertible in a rally celebration at Chinquapine Park, and later received commendations from the Virginia legislature and U.S. Representative Don Beyer in the Alexandria City High School Gymnasium. It's a wonderful moment. You know, a lot of people become Olympians, and, you know, I'm thankful that I have a city that supports me. Not everybody has that opportunity, he added. In an Instagram post, he once again expressed his gratitude. Thank you so much at Alexandria Vaga, he wrote. I know this was the last minute, but it meant a lot that so many of you came out today. I can't thank you all enough for also giving us time to honor my coach, Rashawn Jackson. In another post showing clips from that day, he declared, a true homecoming. Because two posts aren't enough, he posted another with the caption, back where it all began, at the end of the day. All throughout my life, but still, so I feel that no matter what I go through in life, I'll be able to continuously adapt and overcome any obstacles that I have. Watch this to see what other athletes are up to now.